to perform a bit of an experiment today. I downloaded literally every single gameplay mod that I could find for The Sims 4, and we're gonna see how that goes. Basically, I went on CurseForge, which is where you can find and download a whole bunch of mods, and I spent hours downloading every single one. I also downloaded some more that I knew were missing from the website, so now they're all in my game, and we're gonna play. So, um, it's in a different language. Interesting. Oh my gosh, everything, the menu, the interactions, uh-oh. I actually tried playing like this for a little bit and it was funny for a second, but I downloaded all of these mods and had no idea what was going on. So I searched up the translator mod and deleted it. Okay, so this is where we're gonna start off our challenge here. <laughs> this is our sim, her name is Kira, and we're gonna test out the mods with her today. I had to go in and make sure everything was turned on, so I think we should be good. I'm gonna first check out my traits down here because I know we had a bunch added. Actually, let's go into create a sim for a minute. Ooh, okay, I am seeing we've got a few new aspirations here. Something that I downloaded definitely added these. So we've got the new hobby aspiration with the hardcore gamer. I could be a movie maniac or I could be a bookworm. There is also like a royalty mod somewhere in here. So we've got the royalty aspiration, which means you could be a missing royal. That could be kind of fun. I might do that. And then for our traits, there are so many new ones added here. I think one of the mods had like over a hundred that added. And some of these are really cool. We have Egghead. We've got Gentle, Heroic. Oh my gosh, yeah, literally so many. Maybe I'll just randomize all of them. Oh, okay, so we have Daredevil. This sim is reckless and daring. Oh gosh, she's beguiling, which means she can put anyone in a flirty mood with just one look. And we have an essence of flavor trait, meaning we can make higher quality food and drink. That's kind of cool. Also hiding under the likes and dislikes category, we have a whole bunch of different things added here. Here, like attractiveness to body shape, details, hairstyles, eye color, and hair color. I might just randomize this too. Okay, so we do not like body hair. We like blue eyes. She likes big muscles, mustaches, red hair, and I think that's about it. So we've got a couple things that we like. We also really like hardworking Sims. You just moved into a new house. Your services have not been set up yet. Okay, let me open up my phone and see what we're working with here. So I've got the Simda dating app I really want to try. Foster family. Family. That's so cute. We've got foster family on here, social activities, and we've got the wonderful whims app on here too. I'm currently trying to get my bills turned on properly, but I'm noticing there are so many things down here. I can hire a dog walker, a dog jogger. There's a health portal. Okay, to get my power turned on, I need to turn on this like bills app. I don't have a job yet, so I'm gonna do the full home welcome package. Interesting. It's kind of like a more realistic build system, I guess. I actually think we're gonna start our journey by leaving. I wanna go, oh my God, what's happening down here? There's a fight happening between like a bride and groom, a runaway bride. What's happening over here? <gasps> Hold on. I feel like I should go and help. Okay, stop dancing for a minute. Um, friendly introduction, I guess. Are you okay? Oh, there is an altercation. Okay, I need to come and help you. <laughs> He's leaving. Did I just rescue you? Oh my gosh, I need to know all the tea. I need to know what happened. Oh no, he's back. Maybe he's trying to apologize. Um, sir, sir. Now she's just only wearing cowboy boots and they left. That was the strangest interaction I have ever seen in The Sims. Okay, I literally tried to take like two steps outside and that's what happened. By the way, yeah, I'm living in a giant flower. I built this recently on my channel. If you guys wanna see it, I'll link the video down below. Okay, I'm just quickly making some food and then we're gonna venture out on the town, which I'm a little nervous about now, to be honest. Judging by that interaction, I don't know how well that's gonna go. I'm just checking out my traits a little bit more. I also have the left-handed trait. I prefer non-exclusive romantic relationship clearly after seeing that runaway bride. I'm also part of the gentry class. I think that's just an automatic thing for where my price point started and I'm a missing royal which says long ago the royal family suffered a devastating loss when one of their children went missing. <gasps> Is that me? And I'm also a hero. Yeah, let's venture out on the town. I'm in Henford on Bagley. Maybe we'll just go to like the bar area there. Yeah, let's go over here. We can scope it out. I'm gonna bring Jewel. I feel like maybe she might need a friend. Okay, <laughs> Jewel, honey, we're gonna need to get you an outfit here. Just anything, just what is that? What is that? Okay, there you go. Do you feel bonita? Because you look bonita. Oh God, I have spotted a toddler, a lost toddler. <gasps> there's a um deadly toddler mod, but there's also 
also one where like kids can get lost, I think. So I'm gonna inform the parent about this. These guys are just standing here watching the TV. <laughs> There's a lost toddler over there. Oh my gosh, she's going so fast. Maybe I really am a hero. Okay, we're calling some kind of hotline. I've got a little Daryl here. <laughs> Daryl needs help. She's walking out of there. She's feeling confident. Is someone gonna show up? <gasps> lost toddler's parent, Kyle. Kyle Sanderson, hello. Yeah, he's just upstairs. <laughs> he doesn't really seem too eager to be getting in there. What else? We've got the village mayor. Um, am I gonna have to adopt this toddler because the parent doesn't really seem to be uh coming to save him? <gasps> he's gone. Okay, I think he picked him up somehow. I think he just teleported home. Who else can I save here? Okay, I really want to check out that dating app. So I'm gonna open that up, see if there's anything good going on in here. Okay, we have a bunch of different types of dates on here. I'm going to, let's do a blind date. I want to see what that would be like. Ooh, I wonder who it's gonna be with. George. <laughs> maybe go here to Tartosa. I kind of want to go to the beach. Wait a minute. I thought your name was George. <laughs> but okay, Sydney's a great name. I guess we should introduce ourselves. He showed up wearing a suit. Apparently we've got a good compatibility, but are we attracted? Oh my god. This guy just kind of cut me off and he seems angry. I'm like back there talking about urinals like, guys, listen. Oh, we can go here. This is a cute spot. Wait, why does it still say that I can put Daryl here? Is Daryl here? <laughs> Daryl, you lost again? Okay, I'm trying to get rid of some of these interactions up here so that we at least get like a kind of good date. And I'm currently feeling uncomfortable because of strep throat. Ugh. It also says I have to treat it kind of quickly because it can turn into something worse if I don't. So apparently he's got the gesture personality archetype. He lives for moments of joy, humor, and silliness. I like him. I don't know how well this date is really going. Our relationship bar hasn't really budged, but I mean, it hasn't been like going badly. What if I tried to convince him that I'm royal? Do you think he would uh, believe me? <gasps> Uh oh, I think she got her period. Oh, what a horrible time for that to happen on a date. I've been kind of checking out my phone. I don't really see anywhere to order the medicine or a tampon. So I think I'm gonna have to wait until I get home to use the computer. Our date is almost over, despite me feeling very uncomfortable. Um, it's going all right. We got a bronze medal for it. I mean, not the best, but it was our first date ever. So I think I'm gonna call it a day and head home for now. Solve all my issues before heading back out. Okay, so I'm home and checking out the computer computer, there's a couple different options that I'm noticing. I can burn a bootleg DVD. There's a Simda chat room, which I really want to check out, but there's also SimCity loans. Okay, but first we need to order some stuff here. I'm going to get, mm, you know what? We're just going to get one of everything. Maybe a couple extra of these. 750. Okay. I'm also going to order some medicine. I think I managed to cure her cold. Um, I need to wait for the wonderful whim stuff to deliver in the morning. Oh my gosh. Look at my build mode thing. The next mail. I think I also want to see what kind of jobs are available because I did see there were a ton of different new ones here. Oh, okay. We've got an archaeology career. That sounds fun. A diplomat. A health sciences student. I've got a vet career. Swimming lessons. I could go and teach swimming lessons. Maybe I'll try this archaeology career. It can be like a little side mission. Okay. Select an agency. I might do the Sulani one. Sulani hides more mysteries than you think. Working for our museum, your job will be to find its hidden treasures. Let's do it. We can find a gig. All we have to do, I think, is just go and search the beach. We get 970 simoleons if we do it by Sunday at 9 a.m. I think I can do that. Let's go to Sulani today. I do have to wait for our mail, though, so I can get my equipment. Oh, yes, here she comes. Thank you. Okay, let's go get our stuff. So I grab my things, and we are off to Sulani. All right, I need to do some exploring here. I need to go into the cave in Sulani, and she's still not feeling good, even though I gave her two rounds of medicine now. Well, let's go over here into the cave and see how that goes. We're gonna explore. I hope there's nothing weird that could happen here, but okay, into the cave we go. Somehow I ended up in an underground river and I gotta do this five times, so we're going in again. Oh, I got something. I got a collection of shells. I wonder if I could get rich doing this. And some more shells and I completed that. Okay, good. We've got a couple uncomfortable moodlets from that, but nothing too serious. Oh my gosh, Daryl, what the heck are you doing here? Are you lost again? Your dad is literally right over there. I'm not dealing with this again. Neither is she apparently. So 
I came to the main beach in Sulani and I need to get my swimming skill up, which I think is really important because if I don't, I can die. <laughs> Pretty sure there's a mod making it easier for me to die if I don't know how to swim. So I'm gonna ask him to teach me. He's got a lifeguard outfit going on. So I feel like he'd be the right person to ask. You can learn to swim by taking swimming lessons in a group or individual lessons. You can also ask someone more experienced to mentor you. You can try on your own, but this is very risky. Oh my God, get out of the water. So are you telling me you don't know, Dwayne? I, yeah, I was just kind of assuming from the lifeguard uniform, but I gotta get out of the water. I gotta get out of here, run. I guess that means I have to take a swimming lesson, but does that mean everyone out there doesn't really know how to swim? Cause if so, we could, <laughs> we could really experience a mass tragedy event here. Oh my God, there's another runaway bride. <laughs> I decided to come to this bar to get a drink, this very dark bar with no flooring. I'm gonna quickly just add some uh, flooring and lighting. There you go. Okay, I was just having like a cute night here at the bar and in the background, there's some tea going down. We have Carly McWilliams, who is a cheater's secret relationship and this guy, Rick the cheater. <gasps> What is going down? Who are you cheating on? I must know. I'm gonna put my nose in this business that I should not be engaging in, but I must. Who are you cheating on? And are they here? Wait a minute. We've got this guy over here, a gang member. We've got this guy, the victim. And this guy, the prince consort. We got some characters over here. <gasps> Someone, Dwayne. Wait a minute. Dwayne just died in the middle of all of this. Hold on. I literally just, how did I miss that? Uh... Just kidding. He's alive. Oh my goodness. Did he just suffer like cardiac arrest? And I think that guy just saved him. Are you okay? <laughs> oh my goodness. Where am I? What are you doing? Why are you walking like that? This is another gang member. There are gang members all over the place. I have a bad feeling about this. The people inside the bar seem relatively normal. Oh my God, this truck just appeared out of nowhere. Where are you going? Oh, that doesn't seem good. I'm scared. I think I'm gonna get out of here. It is getting late anyway. I don't think I need to witness anything else crazy go down right now. We're gonna go home. This place was a lot less scary in the daytime. So we're just gonna get out of here. Oh no, why are you guys here? Okay, I'm running in my house and we're gonna lock the door. I'm going straight to bed. I need to take a swimming lesson. Like that's the only thing I know that I should be doing right now. Cause I have to dive for treasure for my job and I need to finish this out so I can get a gig payout. This is a very eventful day. I actually just realized I have a whole bunch of different cooking options in here. I think I have like new food options added, different like cooking things I can make. I'm just gonna make some regular like fruit salad maybe and then we're gonna go about our day. Do I get to go with you to the swimming lesson? Oh no, I don't get to go. Dang. That sucks. I was kind of hoping I could get to see her do that. But I reached swimming level two. For my job, I have to write a paper. So maybe before heading back to Sulani today, I can get that out of the way. Terrified. Rob no, 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 no. Am I gonna have to fight him? <laughs> He's breaking into my house. I take back ever wanting burglars back in The Sims. I'm actually scared. Yeah, run out of, just go, just run away. Actually, no, you know what? I'm gonna fight you. Yep, we're gonna fight him. Oh my God, where did he go? <gasps> He's stealing my stuff. He is just stealing my things. We gotta get him. Also just stealing the most random things too, like my counter, really? One of my chairs. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm gonna win this. Like animals are lame and so are you. I think this guy is like a pet enthusiast and now she's just not about it. Okay. Oh, I think that worked. He's leaving. I can survive without one counter and one chair. He's gone. Oh my gosh. And so am I. We are gonna travel. I'm gonna go back to the beach and get in that water. I'm bringing Dwayne <laughs> just in case anything crazy goes down. Yeah, she's gonna- No, not again. Um, is this a regular thing? Are you actually gone this time? What do I do? Um, uh, does anyone want to help? Can you help me? <laughs> I don't think he's dead. Is he, is he faking it? What in the world is going on? Okay. I don't have any moodlets from that either. So I'm confused. <gasps> oh no. Oh, I think those are zombies. Attention all citizens. There has been an increasing number of reports on individuals eating human flesh. Um, but that's not good. Get on the floaty. Get on the floaty. I don't think zombies can swim, hopefully. <laughs> get on the floaty. Dwayne had the right idea all along. Oh no. There's like lightning happening here too. This is actually scary. I've been through it today. Honestly, she doesn't even look that concerned. <laughs> I'm like hiding behind her over here. They actually don't really seem to be doing anything too crazy. Okay, just kidding. They bite. They definitely bite. Is there a way to stop this? I can cure you. Oh no, she's turning into a zombie. Yup, this is really scary. <laughs> How do I stop this? This from happening. Can I like cure everybody? Oh my gosh, I think I can. Okay, cure. 
It works. They're back to normal. Nope, they're not. Are we all good? I think everyone's back to normal. <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my god. Poor Makoa. He was probably teaching me how to swim. This has been an awful day. This has been the worst day yet. Bring back the runaway brides. Let me save all the lost toddlers. Maybe he's faking it. I think I can like report a debt. I can. What happens then? Oh, am I calling up the Grim Reaper? A medical examiner will be sent to your location shortly. What about the good old Grim Reaper? He's not coming. Oh my, someone needs to call the emergency services right now. Actually, I did. Okay, Rachel. Oh my god, another one. Mourn Sim. She seems fine. I feel like half these sims are faking. Makoa is actually fine. Many unbearable hours later. There's uh, still nobody here. I think I might just leave. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm gonna <laughs> like, oh my God, no, no. I think it's real this time. I gotta go, I gotta go. She's got a creeped out moodlet from being near a creepy sim. Who's the creepy sim out of all of you? It could be anyone. I'm kind of stuck here. I can't go home. I can't really do anything. I think I'm gonna just go for a little swim over here. I'm gonna let them figure that out on their own. I'm trying to get at least this gig complete. Maybe if I go far enough away, I can actually go home. Oh no, there's another one. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? This is just getting too crazy for me. I think we gotta call it. There is uh, some craziness happening over on that beach over there that I'm trying to avoid and I literally can't go home. So am I stranded here? Has this become The Sims Castaway? Is this my new home now? Now I'm stuck on the boat. Okay, you know what? <laughs> this has completely broken my game and flipped it, turned it upside down. Would not recommend this <laughs> unless you want complete and utter chaos. But I mean, what did we expect when we downloaded literally every single mod I could find? <laughs> I'm gonna end this here. If you guys were curious, this is what happens when you download a bunch of mods in The Sims 4. If you guys like this video, if you want to see more gameplay challenges, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.